everybody! Oh, Jesus. Yeah, that is going to be so darn loud. Oh, well. I'll let them know what's going on here. Mm, those right there. You see them green specks, y'all? They're going jalapenos in corn fritters. No, no. Sweet no. corn poppers. Yeah. That's what I, I'm telling them what's in there. Well, that going. You say it right the first time. You better knock it off. Them jalapenos and corn fritters, and we're calling them sweet corn poppers. No, we're calling them jalapeno sweet corn poppers. That's what I said. No, that, you didn't. You'd knock it off. That going. No, that's my breakfast, and we're fixing to get after it. We have a busy day today. Hey, there we go. Aha. Yeah, busy that. day dirty house in here. Well, it happens. Ugh. 20 minutes later. <laughs> Such a dork. Them jalapeno sweet corn poppers. I'm going to put them on a wax paper. Put them in the freezer. And then we're going to bag them up. That way... When we, uh, winter time gets here and whatnot, and get after some sweet treats from the summer. Sweet and spicy. Oh, yeah. This, this just makes it easier. I mean, we don't have, we ain't gonna eat all this. Yes, I am. Well, I'm not she frying it up. I'm not frying it up now. Well, no, not right now, but we got I stuff think to do. I you got plenty. I think hey, you got yeah, plenty. More than enough. Well... There's breakfast. It's still untouched. Just waiting for them to cool off. I said I burnt my mouth. And since you guys know I'm a fast learner, I had to back <laughs> off of stuff. But anyway. That's it. There's the pup. He's still growing. He's a knothead. But this is the project. We only had a few of them. But we're going to add two later. Didn't pick very many jalapenos. We thought we'd run out and try it. Yeah, I'll let right. you guys know later when I'm doing chores it's, whether it's, it was kind to me or not. I was gonna say it's Great Graham's corn recipe. That's right. Great. And then we just add we just add uh, That's my jalapenos. Grandma. My it. grandma's recipe. Yeah. The kid, my my kids. That, that's their great game. But that's Grandma Drake's corn fritter recipe, and we tossed jalapenos in there. Yeah, that's a beautiful. We're putting a spin on it. There's that, a beautiful corn fritter. That, and then you add honey to it. Yeah. Mm. Anyway. Yeah. Oh, that's how, you, that's how you... Some people like to put butter on it, but... We just didn't this time. It tastes better. But bad. anyway. That's it. And we gotta go. And that's where he still sits. 10.30, and we have things to do. I just finished those jalapeno sweet well, corn poppers. Like right. They were delicious. And and now it's time to get your butt up so we can go do our yeah, errands before I have to watch a kid today. Make sure everything is working the way it should. But honey, we are supposed to watch Living Traditions sure. together. Well, we get six to eight yeah, well, your, let's go. Your dog scratched me. Oh, I need to get rid of some cats. If you got cats, they're going to use your container garden as a uh, litter box. Huh. Is that what you're doing, Tigger? My radishes. What are you doing? What in the hell? Why is your shirt tucked in? Because I have to look respectful. Yeah, you got you look like you'd got the dad bod for sure. Hey, stop sucking in. <laughs> you gonna let me in? Oh Well you said <laughs> Trying to fix my glove box. 
the clicker thing broke in it. Yeah. You might not need that. I had to do that for the coffee I brought home. Yeah. Oh crap. What's that? My ear candies. Oh goodness sake. I'm glad I got them. Now I don't have to listen to you. I can listen to the radio. Excuse me? Get in, baby. Well, you know you gotta help me in. Give me your hand. One, <laughs> two, yeah. Did you, son of a bitch, <laughs> biscuit? Yeah, quit quick cussing. I know. I can't help it. Here you go, Harry. What you got? What you got, booger? <laughs> Gross. All right, everybody. After a very uh, sidetrack of a day, I guess you would call it, here on the homestead, we got nothing done. We went up to the feed store, and we went to pick up feed and pine shavings, and we was fixing to give you guys a show, because me and the wife was going to work together while the kids was at school, and she's just difficult. That's She can't help it. She's a, she's a female. I'd say that so she wouldn't hear me. But uh, ended up going up the road, and Mama's been after me. You can't even see it. But yeah. Oh, check that out. Here we go. Yeah, productive day on the homestead. Wound up uh, us buying Mama a new van so she can get around. No, we didn't buy any more ducks. <laughs> That was the productive day on the homestead. I did get all the feed dispersed and I got all the, you know, the bits done. Took care of the pigs. But as far as putting the greenhouse up and laying more black fabric for what's going to be soon our backyard here, which it's not nothing to speak of because, I mean, it's a country backyard. There's stuff laying everywhere. But we are looking to put black fabric all the way to the end of the porch down there and then circle around and we're going to stop it about right there just shy of that little old well and then we're going to meet up with the corner of the garage and it's going to be black fabric and mulched and then one of these days you know we're not going to get too frisky with it but we're going to get get everything laid out and overlap the black fabric about a foot make sure all the grass kills off real good and then uh, we're fixing to extend the garden, or at least her herb and fresh pickings, to right out the back door here. And, you know, we'll always have the big old garden, which I'm going to make that sucker bigger. And next year, I tell you what, that sweet corn, that's going to look mighty fine out front. Because we're going up front just past the, uh, oh, what do you call it, the apple orchard that we're trying to get started. We're only about eight or so trees into that project at the moment and they are not growing as fast as I'd like but that's that's the old saying is the best time to plant an apple tree was five years ago <laughs> yeah but the old homestead has got a new addition and the red van will no longer be seen in the videos mama got a new used vehicle because I don't know if you guys are aware of it but homesteaders generally don't have a ton of money that's, you know, hence the big garden. We do it because we love it, and we do it because uh, it helps feed the youngins. Anyway, I'm going to go back in here, and that was the deal. I bought, her, I bought her that van that she saw and fell in love with, and I get tacos. But since we were busy tonight, I'm settling for nachos tonight, but I'm holding her to the tacos sometime this week. Some homemade and she makes this wonderful bit with like a pico de whatever mix it is. And she adds sweet corn to it. And whoo, some jalapenos. Boy, let me tell you what. I, that's delicious. But we got to sign off. I got to go. I'm hungry. Spending money like that makes me nervous and hungry. I got to go.